boys we are back here with another lineup builder today we're going to be taking a look at some value cards now i do want to just go over what value means to me it's just me and someone that i think is well worth their price also like a step above a budget card right we're gonna go ahead and get it started with i think the perfect example of this at quarterback we are going to have andrew luck so andrew luck currently going for around 162k and again that might be a little bit higher might be even a little bit lower sometimes when you check their price for andrew luck today is 162k and i just again i think this is a wild price for Andrew Luck with how good I think he is now do I think he is like a part of my big three a quarterback no but he's like literally just one step below and for his price we'll even say around 200k is kind of ridiculous you get the set feet lead for zero you get fearless for one ap master tactician for one ap that in total is two you can throw a gunslinger on for four gift wrap five ap and you have yourself a quarterback that is really nice in the pocket so big fan of this andrew luck at quarterback and at running back right here we're going with someone that again i just think he completely outplays his price uh 94 overall michael Penix jr we are going to have some cards that both made the budget video and also this video as well so michael Penix, um for 40k completely outplays his price like i still start this card at running back i don't really notice a big difference between say a 99 overall golden ticket with the built-on x factor and this card right here i think he is a beast and just someone again i think is ridiculous value for 41k we do have to mention a fullback right here it has to be trent williams trent williams is one of the best cards in the game still and he's under 100k now uh biggest thing on this card is getting that that built on Vanguard and I'm seeing a lot of people uh, talk about playing this card at tight end I, I believe he is a 99 overall at tight end and you can do that the only thing I do want to say is if you play him at tight end you won't be able to audible around like I know some people want to go like bunch to bunch strong and so on like that but if you're not doing that he is a beastly tight end as well with that Vanguard now wide receiver is super interesting because no matter what you don't have the coins to really deal with the bottleneck uh defense and what you're gonna have to do with the value team with the budget team versus these bottlenecks next in these god squads on defense you're going to have to run the offenses where your receivers are aligned to where they can't get pressed you know like a great example of this is in the cincinnati Bengals playbook or the chicago bears playbook gun tight slots halfback weak your tight end and also your slot receiver will fry the shaded down two man of the bottleneck especially out of that four verticals play so just being able to go to something like that i think is super valuable you just have to work a little bit harder with the budget you can still beat the bottlenecks it is a lot more annoying though Receiver what we're prioritizing here i want like a route tech type of ability and then jukebox of course i think jukebox just makes some crazy plays after the catch so we really want that and a wide receiver one again i was kind of shocked uh, at his price i'm gonna go uh marvin harrison not junior but marvin harrison senior so he is a little bit over like the 200k mark gets the built on yak him up and again gets the route tech and the jukebox combo and i think this is a receiver that will slightly struggle against bottleneck but can make a ton of plays after the catch potentially with that yak him up and i think he's worth his price right the best receiver in the game in my opinion no but for 230k well worth it in my opinion now wide receiver two this might shock you but we're gonna have larry wilson wide receiver cards so this is a card that's under 100k the speed isn't there but ability wise is great he gets the route tech for zero and he also gets the evasive for zero again just another card that i think well worth his price going to outplay what he's going for and i do want to mention odell beckham right here i know the house rules is over but if you got him for free he deserves to be mentioned right here but at wide receiver three i'm going to have malik neighbors as as well i really like this draft card a little bit under 200k right now gets that short and elite and jukebox combo for zero ap so all of our receivers have a man beating ability and also jukebox and i think right now we're uh, averaging well under 200k per card at tight end this is another one of my personal favorite cards it's dalton kincaid Dalton kincaid for 250 really i think there's a big drop off after kincaid like when we talk about mark bavaro and stuff like kincaid is a lot better and he's only going for like 70k more i believe than mark bavaro and he's really balanced 97 speed 90 run block he can get the jukebox as well i think don kincaid is a problem at tight end he's one of my personal favorite cards now i do want to mention a utility player as well i think he's really great in red zone situations not jc latham's tackle card jc latham's tight end card right here the 94 going for pretty much the same price as michael Penix running back and i think he's great in goal line situations and he's just a blocker like he's a blocking tight end not really too great from like the pass game perspective but again like secure pro post up a uh, nasty streak all for zero just a really good card to have on your team now for offensive line i'm gonna be honest 100 percent play people out of position okay play them out of position it really doesn't affect too much in my opinion i would say a guard i would prioritize playing the rookie cards we'll talk about but left tackle right tackle center again just zero ap secure pro is the main thing you want and at left tackle right
right here. I don't know if his card is loaded into Mata.gg yet. It is not, but we have a Joe Thomas, not the team diamond, but this fan appreciation card right here gets like everything for zero AP free card. It just doesn't make sense to not include him in the video. Left guard, I'd play someone like Jordan Morgan and at right guard, I would go Tyler Guyton. These two rookie cards right here are extremely fast and I feel like getting the fast uh, guards is more important than say like center and tackle. So I like my guards to be a little bit faster and at center, we can play a potential free card or also uh, the Super Bowl Andrew Whitworth as well. He is one AP secure pro if you don't have the lighted up token. And then at right tackle force, we are still gonna have Rob Havenstein. Again, zero AP secure pro. You only need one 93 overall Genki force card. So it's like 100K to get him zero AP secure pro. And yeah, man, this is what the offensive side of the ball is looking like. Just wanna say again, this is 99 fan appreciation, Joe Thomas, not the 92 team diamond. Now let's go over to the defensive side of the ball. At safety, we're gonna play two free safeties. Safety number one right here, we're going to play Ryan Clark. So Ryan Clark can get up to a 99 overall now and he does not have like 100 sats that's a lot but um so gets basically everything for zero like deep zone mid zone tackle supreme all zero ap abilities also can get a charge up x factor reinforcement and i just really like this card you can play him at cb if you wanted to too but i'm trying to keep as many people in position as possible i know we didn't do it with o-line and we're also not going to do it with strong safety because in my opinion it just doesn't make sense to not run a lohi gilman especially for like his value and again he's a free card and he gets the deep zone knockout the mid zone knockout pick artist secure tackler for three AP. You might think that's a lot of AP, but we have a lot of AP to go around on defense. So I think Alohi Gilman and Ryan Clark as a safety duo is pretty nasty. I'm gonna round out our secondary at CB1 right here, uh, a mainstay of the lineup recently. It is gonna be Kyle Pitts 97. This is a card that is six foot six, 245, 98 speed. Great man, great zone, great press. I think the six foot six, really, really evident when you use this card. Uh, deep out zone knockout, mid zone knockout, pick artist, and secure secure tackler for two AP. So, so far, everyone on defense getting that secure tackler. At CB2, I don't know if this is cheating or not, but again, this is another free card. It's Kyrie Jackson, and I'm not even talking about the LTD version. You should be getting this card as long as you're saying a little bit update, like playing head to head, which if you're watching this video, I would assume you would be. It's uh, two discounted buckets, but does get a X factor like universal coverage, which this is what I would run on him. Uh, universal coverage is going to be every single KO in the game, man or zone, and also one step ahead. And besides that, you can go say, maybe you want like the film study. Maybe you would probably want pick artists. And yeah, the only thing he's missing is secure tackler, but given how good he is, one person on defense not being able to tackle, not the end of the world. If you don't want Kyrie Jackson, by the way, or you can't get him, I would say Joe Ald is great. Not the golden ticket, I meant the uh, 94. Uh, this is a card that could potentially play safety for you as well, so something you could do is you could play Joe Ald at safety, move Ryan Clark to CB2, right? And you could go a little something like this, right? If you don't want Kyrie Jackson, of course. So you could do a little something like that. And I think that makes a ton of sense. So another CB I do want to cover. This is more of a slot cornerback. Um, I would say that Chris Harris is still great value as well with what he can do. Now, not going to get the pick artist unless you want to spend two AP, but he does get flat zone, mid zone, secure tackler, zero AP. Hard to get better th than that in the slot, especially for his price. Now let's talk about the front seven right here at left outside linebacker. We are going to have none other than Frank Ragnow. So Frank Ragnow, a little bit under that uh, 100K mark and and this is a card that can get secure tackler, mid zone knockout, lurk artist, all for zero. That's what I want on my outside linebackers. Now I will say I've used this card quite a bit. 308 I think is evident with how he moves, but his abilities in my opinion are way too good to pass up. And also what he can do for his price. It's just, it's just too good in my opinion. And at right outside linebacker, we are going to have Derek Brooks. This is a card that went for around that 200K mark. And he gets the same exact ability combo as Frank Ragnow. It's the lurk artist, the mid zone and the secure tackler for me. And he's gonna move a little bit better because obviously he's 70 pounds lighter 97 speed great zone coverage defender as well so i really like Derek brooks a ton and at middle linebacker someone that is joining the team is going to be gerard mayo as well now this is a card that a little bit slower with that 95 speed but like frank rag now like Derek brooks it's the lurk artist the mid zone knockout secure tackler all for zero this is a spot where i kind of struggle a little bit because i think you have three beastly coverage players and you don't necessarily need this card but jordan mylotta is a beast as a pure user he has one week 
weakness and he gets the lurk artist gets the avalanche gets the mid zone knockout i think his big weakness is the fact that he does not get secure tackler so he will miss tackles right and he is still a little bit scary though with that avalanche and again 365 like i said with frank ragnow i think he does move like he's 365 as well but he's also six foot eight so i feel like this is a card that you'll probably go through like peaks and valleys of like oh he's playing like the best and then it's like oh he's the worst you know so uh that's that's what i thought when i used the card but again first price definitely really great card now let's round out the front seven right here at right in now this is there's a reason like we've been underspending and talking about a lot of free cards now like i said i wanted to keep everything around like 200k per position aiden hutchinson is way above that right 500k this in my opinion is the most must-have player his value i would be willing to probably pay two mil for aiden hutchinson that's why a 500k coin card is making this video and the biggest thing the reason why aiden hutchinson is so good you can throw out all the abilities you, he gets you can throw out the dual threat as well the biggest thing is the momentum shift charge up that counters the charge up x factors on offense without him you got to deal with things like omaha potentially i deal with the charge up yakima charge up uh angry runs all this annoying stuff and yes the offense still does get baked on x factors that are annoying to deal with but aiden hutchinson countering the omaha i think is the biggest thing i think i think that was one of the most annoying things to play so in my opinion he is the most must-have card in the football game and at left end right here we're gonna have jj watt i mean jj watt under 200k play is amazing now he doesn't get like a crazy built on x factor but he does get the run stuffer and i think he just makes a ton of plays man he was one of my favorite cards i've used all year long he was a problem to deal with in a defensive tackle i think this is a spot where you might want to use your free ultimate legend choice whether it be klecko or randall i think you can go either which way i both think they're beastly i get a ton of questions who's better klecko or randall i think they're on the same level they're both amazing but for value i really like uh tommy harris and also mean joe green so these cards get that inside stuff and interior threat combo for zero ap with that like going for 100k so I, I'm, I'm willing to spend that i think they're both really really good for their price now for special teams to end off the video for value i guess it'd be uh young way ku and now we did use our free uh what's called 99 on alohi gilman but you can get this card up to a 96 as well and you get some slow meter abilities free kicker right here and for punter gotta be pat mcafee because he was free so yeah boys this has been my thoughts on the best value card at every position in madden 24 ultimate team let me know your guys thoughts down below in the comments let me know if i left anyone off the list that should have been on the list but if you guys did enjoy this video though you want to stay updated with the best cards in madden make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more madden 24 ultimate Eve content just like this now if you guys do want to go ahead and see me use some of these cards live on stream i stream almost every single day here on youtube and twitch 2 p.m to 6 p.m eastern watch on the youtube side of things make sure to hit that noti bell as well you'll be notified every time i upload or go live here or if you want to watch on the twitch check the links in the description hit that twitch with a follow but if you guys do want another video to watch check out this one right here